Happy to Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. And folks, we're pulling out the big guns yes, today. We this are big doing daddy. some pressure cooking. <laughs> we're working with one of our favorite, favorite, favorite uh, brands in the world to work with. Crock-Pot. Yay, Crock-Pot. <laughs> oh, it's so wonderful. And they have this spectacular new, uh, pressure cooker out yeah. that we're going to show you. Just, we're doing some pressure cooking mm, today. I mean, we're under pressure. The pressure is on. <laughs> Let's um, tell them what we're making. It's so easy. So it's, it's so delicious. It's delicious for the holidays. It's so great. It's so great. good. We are doing our pressure, pressure cooker, cooker pumpkin bread, bread pudding with, with vanilla, vanilla custard, custard sauce. sauce. <laughs> I stumbled that up a little bit, but let me say it again. It's pressure cooker, pumpkin bread pudding with vanilla custard, custard sauce. sauce. <laughs> it's yeah, it every ingredient in the house, I know. Anyway, so okay. So let's talk about how we're going to do this. So it's have you ever had bread pudding before? You probably have. It's super delicious. So, so we good. are going to start off with bread. And um, what that which would be make sense, you know, for bread pudding. <laughs> I've got about 5 cups here that I've cubed. I just you can really you can't go wrong with whatever kind of bread, but I right. like using a nice a French, French loaf, sure. um, kind of, you know, about this size. And then I just get a, a serrated knife and I just start to slice it and then kind of cube it. And you, you're going to want about one inch pieces. It doesn't have to be completely uniform. And right. um, about one loaf is going to give you probably about anywhere from five to six cups. And yeah. that's about what and you, you need. And you can use uh, other breads like brioche would be fun. Yes, brioche is yes. good. Yeah. Shala. So um, good. And... Um, do I say that right? I always think I say that wrong. And then um, Italian bread. Just don't use anything that's savory, like garlic bread. <laughs> was, it wouldn't be great for this because right, this is right. a this is not overly sweet, but it's got a sweetness to it. And, yes. and the vanilla custard sauce adds an incredible. Yes. Bit. And I should say this is great for breakfast on the holiday morning. This is great <laughs> for dessert. What? I think it's good. I mean, I mean it's, it's good. You could serve it. Anyway, it's great. It All is right. great. Well, let's get going. Let's Come do on. it. Let's do it. Okay. And so we'll now talk about this when we get to this, when we get to the When we get pressure. to the time, because yes. that's when it, it gets to really be fun. Okay. We're going to make the, the sauce that the, the makes it, turns it into pudding. So Fabulous. I've got two large eggs that I've lightly beaten, mm -hmm. and I like to kind of mix this as I go, so it just sort of, um, it becomes very combined and fully incorporated. So that's um, about a, a cup, cup of whole milk and two. A little over a cup, maybe. I use anywhere from a, a cup, cup to, to a cup and a third. To, yeah, okay. not a cup and a third, maybe a cup and a quarter. But, okay. Um, and I should also say, this is, you're, you're going to need a heat resistant dish, and that is a one and a one and a half quart, quart souffle, souffle dish. dish. Yeah. Um, if you don't have one of those, if you're going to pressure cook, you can make so many things in this. Cheesecake, frittatas, so many cool things. And um, I have a link to where you can order one of these if you don't have one. Fabulous. Okay. Okay. So now we've got right, that got fully combined. Okay. So now we, we said it's pumpkin, so we got to do pumpkin. So this is pumpkin that puree. That is real pumpkin. 100%. Pure pumpkin. Pumpkin puree. So you, pumping up the pumpkin. <laughs> pump, pump. So you don't want to use, I would not recommend using pumpkin pie mix in this. No. Um, in, the, in the supermarket, you'll see. Because uh, we're throwing in pumpkin, we're throwing in spices that, we don't that need, you go into a pumpkin pie. That's right. We're yes. doing our own, we're, we got our own show going here. We don't need yes. someone else to come in and do it for us. Speaking so, of pump, speaking of, uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead and talk. I've been, this, I'm going to add a, a half a cup of just granulated sugar and a half a, half a cup of dark dark brown sugar, yeah, cane speaking, sugar. Speaking of pumpkin pie spices, we have cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger all together right here. Look at I that. love ginger. Isn't that great? And you can get the exact measurements on how to feed a loon. Yeah, but in case you want, were wondering, it's one teaspoon, <laughs> one teaspoon, and a half a teaspoon. Okay, now that is amazing. And then yes. we got to really round out the flavor with some beautiful, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Yes. Oh my gosh, Mix it already just in. smells so I good. I love it. It's everything about it is so good. So now what we are going to do, why don't you help me kind of scoop yeah, these bowls so up and let's get this bit. out of the way. Stir get this. All mixed up together. You really do want to make sure that this is fully incorporated because uh, it just makes for a better final dish. Now what we are going to do, I guess I'm doing all of this here. You're doing all the work. Yeah. Uh, well, that's some, <laughs> some things never really change, do they? Okay. So, um, no, you help me. I'm kidding. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, oh, that looks so good. We are throw some bread in that. Tuesday. We are going to take about half of the bread, and we are going to just you know you eyeball this, and you just you know yeah. kind of use your hands, just smush it on in there. Am I in a good place, Lou? You're in a good place. Okay, good. <laughs> in so many levels. You're with me. I'm in a good place. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do about. And again, you can just eyeball this about half this sauce, and then you can use a wooden spoon. But you, what you really want that 
to have happen is for that, you want bread, that bread to get soaked to start in to absorb to soak yeah that up. and soak to it up soak up the goodness now it's, while you're doing that i want to talk a little bit about this pressure cooker. do that so uh, let me just tell you while he's doing that so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep doing <laughs> this no talk. so i can do it okay. then you can talk so um because i know how you love to talk too so i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna finish this off with this and then we'll top it off so now talk perfect so this is a giant tin quart Ten. Cock, ten quart is, cock. Ten. Is that like the tin man? Ten. 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 Ten quart. <laughs> thanks. Crock pot. It's ten. I know that thing was made out of e tin. <laughs> easy release pressure. Easy release steam pressure cooker. This thing is like my new best friend. I so love let's it. tell them a so little bit why it's why it's an easy steam release because, oh, because it really is. Let me show you guys if you could see. See this little steam releaser here. If you 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 can you can release the steam from over here and over here the steam releases so you're not burning yourself. It's just it's all. a it's a very safe way to do yeah, it it's and it's safe. handy and uh, exactly. we love it. Love we it, love it, love and it. did we mention it's ten quarts? You can feed I the did. feed the entire town with that with this pressure Look cooker. It's so amazing. That looks wonderful. Now while you're doing that, I'm, I'm also. Just, I'm going to also tell them about, tell them about your old slingshot. what we're going to do, uh, how we're going to get that, that, uh, that souffle dish down. And let there. me just tell I'm I've gone ahead and I'm just using my, my hands. They're clean. Now, you may feel like when you first do this, hopefully you can see this, it may seem like right at first, wow, it's too much liquid. <laughs> it's because not all of the bread. Yeah. It's you want that bread to absorb it. That's what makes it, gives it that, just that beautiful pudding feeling. We love a good old pudding feeling. <laughs> yes. I love things to be pudding. So here I just made a sling. So what this is going to do is this is going to help me lower that souffle in there. And then most importantly, it's going to help me pull it out because it's going to be super hot. Yeah. Yeah. Now there. I didn't use all of this bread. That's okay. No, no problem. Um, and uh, yeah. Look at so, that. So the sling, That's did wonderful. you tell them how you made the yeah, sling? I just took a long piece of tin foil. I folded it over once. I folded it over again. And then I have this. I flattened it out, and that's what I'm doing yes, for yes. my sling. Okay, so perfect. All right. So now what we are going to do is we are going to, let's go ahead and do this. We got to throw some of those I know. toasted almonds So on. why don't you put the sling underneath All there right. for me? So, Sorry. So we're going to put position that right underneath yes. there so you'll be able to like use it like this. Perfect. Now we've got some beautiful toasted pecans. Yay, these are the best. It's so wonderful. And put, what we did is we just put, this is a... I don't know, this is about a cup. And yeah. I would really recommend toasting these. You can do this so way in advance because toasting nuts in general, it just, it brings out so much flavor and uh, the oils just really come <laughs> up. I've, you know, I've toasted Wesley a couple times because <laughs> talk, about, talk about a nut. Talk about a nut. He's one <laughs> hard nut to crack, I'll now, tell you that one much. One other last thing, just to, you know, top it off. We're going to throw a little melted butter mm -hmm. over the top. Because, you know, it's not decadent Drizzled. enough. Oh, wow, you guys. <sighs> salivating, <laughs> salivating already. All right, so and we're also going to cover okay. this yeah. so that we don't want to get any uh, excess moisture on top. Because the pressure cooker, obviously, it uses steam yes. to get to that extreme heat, which is why it cooks so fast and so quickly. There we go. There, okay. that is on there good. Okay. All right, so here we go. I got my sling. I'm going over. Hold on, hold oh wait! Oh wait! Got to put some water in there. Yes. So we've got this in here. We're gonna. And let's put... also tell them about this. So this oh, yeah. this this comes with your trusty crock pot pressure cooker. This is just like a trivet that um, has yeah. these little. So it kind of holds the and dish so up. So it's not above. sitting on the bottom. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got about a, a cup, cup and, and a half. half of water. We're gonna throw exactly in there a cup to help half. steam. It does. Cause yes. All right. Lower okay. that in there. You Chris. lower it. Okay. <laughs> you lower it in. <laughs> okay. Look at this how great that is. Fun. <laughs> it's so good, you guys. All right, so we've got that in there. We tucked in our little uh, sling. Yeah, we're just gonna, make sure you fold it over. And we're gonna we're gonna get it in here. It's like we're working on a power tool. Okay, wow, there, there we go. go. You're getting good Sealed. at this. Sealed. This make sure this is this is open so because it closes on its own. Yes. <laughs> and now we're gonna start her off. No, I just gotta get around here. So what we're gonna do? You're gonna want to do this on pressure cooker. Manual um, pressure cooker. Manual. You're gonna want to do it on high. And we're gonna do it for about. 22 minutes. There we We're going to do it for exactly 22 minutes. Oh, yeah. Duh. And, um, and so then let's hit start. Start. So, so now it's heating, and once it's, once it's done heating, the pressure will build and build and build in here, and this little uh, bobber valve will pop up, 
And once that's popped up, that's when it starts to cook. And then once it's gotten hot enough in there, the little countdown will start right here for 22 minutes. And then it's going to be really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yay. <laughs> oh, okay. And just like that, we, we have, should have <laughs> yes. pumpkin bread pudding. We have everything ready here. So what we, when this reached, uh, when it was done cooking, uh, we let it sit and do like a, what's it called? Natural, a, a natural really. release. And then For after 10, 10 minutes. minutes, we went ahead and we switched this to uh, to steam, to release the steam, and the steam came out, and this little bopper valve fell down, and then now it's ready to open up. Sometimes 10 minutes is all it takes um, for that, <laughs> for the just naturally release. Yes. But um, this time it needed a little more steam yes. to be released. Oh, okay. well, I could there open we go. that. Oh, oh there we go. That. That's okay. a lot of steam. I know. That'll, here, I was oh, taking that. Oh, that's all right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> now make sure you put Once on your rubber. <laughs> he's in the kitchen. <laughs> Look out, yeah, folks. Watch out. I'm oh, the boss. God. He's Yeah, he's got, <laughs> he's got rubber gloves, so red ones. Yes, I got my red rubber gloves. Here comes red. But let's, here we go. Wesley. Right. Pull okay. this out. So this is why we have the uh, Jap yes. Japanese slingshot. All right, I'm coming um, over there. Wonderful. That's beautiful. Now, move this, you here. see all of that condensation that's on top. That's, that's hot. why we. Is that hot? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> That's why we cover it with foil, because otherwise that would collect on top of the bread yes. pudding. All right, here's the Ready? big reveal. Let's see what it looks like. Yum. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. That looks so great. There is a dog around. Oh, smelling yeah. that. Oh, boy. That, that looks, looks so good, Chris. That looks incredible. All right. Okay, so are we going to go ahead and cut this? Well, no, this? let's quickly talk about this lovely uh, my custard. custard. My cu yes. It's a vanilla Put it down custard. Right down there in front of that, so that okay, you thank you. Better. Sorry. Um, so a little. This is our vanilla custard sauce. While this is um, pressure cooking, it's so easy to make. Um, you just get a medium saucepan, and to that you're going to add um, milk. You can get the exact measurements on the on the recipe card. Milk, and then eggs. Was it? It was egg yolks, um, and then uh, we did sugar, sugar and some cornstarch corn starch. that's going to help it thicken, and then we did some vanilla extract. And you yes. just cook that until it start until it simmers, and then it's going to come to a boil. And you keep stirring it, and it's eventually going to just start to thicken. And once it gets to a beautiful uh, consistency of a custard like this, then uh, you turn it off the heat, and then I, we just strain it through uh, just like a, a colander into a bowl. I'm um, the heat proof bowl. Just, you know, sometimes there, there gets a little thickness that maybe you want it just to really be smooth. And then it's ready to go. And if you want to reheat, if you're going to serve this later, then you can reheat it beautifully. Just don't overcook it because it'll separate those eggs. All right. Now I'm ready. I got my placemat. While he was talking about that custard, I set up my little placemat over here, my <laughs> holiday placemat. <laughs> this is not your first time at the bread pudding <laughs> no. row. Okay. Oh, that looks great. It really, really does. I cannot wait to I get know. my lips around that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds horrible. I know. Uh, that's. You know, I, it's been 25 minutes at least. I know. Since you've eaten. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah. And, you know, bread pudding is meant to be kind of like, oh, look at that. It's just beautiful. I mean, wonderful. if it falls apart a little bit, that's, that's okay. Fine. But this that is. Off, oh, that is just gorgeous. Oh, look at that, people. Oops, that's, I'm using my fingers. It's okay. <gasps> Yay! That is beautiful. Oh, and you, it's oh. so. I love it. Served, served yes. warm. And, and then this. Throw some oh, that's custard beautiful. on that. that custard sauce. Oh. You really, I mean, you can you can add a lot of this custard sauce because it's so good. And like I said, it it makes it kind of <laughs> like the loon just did. It just sweetens the deal. Up. I'm so excited. That does look really good. Yes, look at that, folks. That you did a good job, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. That. Oh, all right. I'm gonna just. I'm hopefully. Is that not festive? Look at that. Oh, <gasps> that's just beautiful. Just fall oh, apart. So puddingy. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Sorry, you got to get messy. Yeah, but bread pudding is meant to be a little. Mm, oh, that's so perfect. Mm, got some custard down there. Mm. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. It gets better every time we make it. It really <laughs> I is. Know we do. We keep tweaking it. <gasps> so good. Yay. Wow, that is the perfect holiday dish. It is. Because you can I taste the nutmeg. 
That nutmeg really puts you in the holiday spirit. She does. She's a <laughs> nut, that Meg. I use that joke every oh, time. Oh, and the pumpkin and the vanilla and the, oh, the custard. But you know what? Really Th this is wonderful mm. at the holidays, mm. no doubt about it. Mm. Um, but it's mm. so. And the ginger, a little taste of ginger yep, and cinnamon. Yep. Oh. It's, but it's really good. And it's so easy. You can make it any time of the year. Oh, and it's not like super sweet. Yeah. Um, but that custard really helps. I know. That's why I was me. saying you could you could you know do it even without the custard, oh. and you could serve this at breakfast. He always mm. laughs at me. Yeah, I eat that for breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know you've eaten. I that did breakfast. that for breakfast, and I would say it's one hundred percent loon approved. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank goodness! Now I can. Do <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I'm pudding. <putting. laughs> Sorry, folks. Let me, Let me tell you, you're putting your money where your mouth is. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, that went down the wrong tube. Mm. Mm. Isn't that, that delicious? No. Woo! We've done it. That is so good. Oh, so good. And, it, you know, sometimes bread mm. pudding can be literally like pudding, and it's just too mushy. This has some texture to it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Now, you could get this recipe and other crockpot recipes on howtofeedaloon.com. That's right, and lots of other holiday recipes yes. and all that. And, and go to Target and you can get your own crock pot. Oh yeah, we got this at Target. We love or we Target. we give you one of ours. <laughs> no, 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 I love them too much. Mm. They're like our children. Anyway, go to our social media, share, do like, and do all that kind of stuff, and make bread, make pumpkin bread, bread pudding. pudding. And it's mm. so easy. Mm. That's really good. Yay, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy. <laughs> Bye, pumpkin. Bye. <laughs> Hey everybody! Hey! <laughs> now if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Well, that's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>